Hello, daddies. Welcome back to another episode of the Bad Dad Vice podcast. Um, I am glad to be back. I missed you all last week. Um, for those of you that are watching us on YouTube right now, um, let me just clear the air and answer your question. Yes, I have put on a few pounds. Thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for noticing. I was on a uh, a nice ten day vacation um, and did nothing but eat and drink and relax. So um, glad to be back. This episode is brought to you by our friends over at Beer Stick. Um, I watched the episode yesterday when it uh, came out, um, but this is my first time seeing all the the goodies that Beer Stick brought us. Some koozies, a flag. Um, another beer stick. So now we have two beer sticks. We can beer stick as friends. Um, they also sent us the beer bro. And I have, uh, I've got it set up, ready to go. I've got a 16 ounce, uh, fully loaded beer right here. This will be my first time attempting this. So hopefully, um, I did try to set one up before the show You're started love it. and spilled the entire thing. So <laughs> glad I didn't do that live, but, um, I'm going to try this right now just to do that. But you guys can talk. It's it, th- this device kind of looks like. Do I, just, do I just like flip it up like a snorkel? What do I yeah, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a snorkel. Yeah, it's like, like a, a shotgun is this without like a the gag hole. gift. Is this not gonna work? You guys are playing. <laughs> it, it definitely works. It definitely works. It's gonna come out fast. <laughs> it is a silicone. It's a shotgun. Silicone uh, device that essentially turns any beverage into a shotgun without the need for the secondary hole. It it looks a lot like a. That was uh, the fastest 16 ounces. It looks a lot like a periscope on a submarine. submarine. Yeah. It's kind of like what the look is. And uh, you can crush a beer. That was pretty, <laughs> you beeping that was pretty, that was pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It, it came out It came out very smooth. I th- oh, shit. That might have been faster than a beer stick. Um, I still think I prefer the beer stick. And I think... Oh, I just uh, saw a motorcycle go by and then a cop chasing them out the window. Oh, it's, I heard it was yeah. very loud. And there was very a cop loud. with lights on. Like, by. Um, I, but I that's say, no OG beer stick. That right? thing is that thing is cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. And that was fast. But I think what I like about the beer stick is that it's see through. Right. And you yeah. can watch the beer like like with that one is like I didn't know at least like this one. I know like when you get to the end. Yeah. That's all the beer. It's like when a, there's like when you're on a p- website and like there's a loading bar. You're like you see the loading bar. You mm-hmm. know you're about to get there. Like that's kind of the idea and behind I, the beer. And there's I, no buffering. No I think buffering. the other, I think the other thing I like the the beer bro. Listen, if you are not a professional, I think the beer stick is probably your better option because the beer stick is also you control your own Pace. destiny. Destiny. Yeah. The, yeah. the one thing I will give the beer bro some credit for is think about how portable that thing is. I mean, you can squeeze I mean, it up, put it in your pocket. You are, you are. Thing is, now it's it's wet now. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I could. Yeah. I mean, this. You're thing talking is, bringing it into a sporting event, bringing it, you know, bring it to a tailgate, bring mm-hmm. it with you to a party. I mean, you could do whatever you need to do there. Absolutely. 100%. If you're focusing on consuming beverages quickly, on the go. Right. I'm that's not, pretty. I'm good. not taking my beer stick to, uh, a brooks and dunn concert right but i will take the beer bro right yeah. I, yeah. I was trying to figure out what i was going to say i didn't want to say brooks and dunn but now i remembered i want to say mumford and sons that would have been more funny <laughs> ah, you missed it <laughs> ah damn it I, yeah. I, I kept getting brooks and dunn and mumford and sons they kind of they, they rhyme so yeah, the, 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 beer, the beer stick's more for everybody the beer stick is cool and now we have two i mean this yeah. is well just um, twice the fun well i can uh I can do the honors of showing the actual. Yeah. So if anybody stick. wants to jump over to the YouTube channel, you can watch. We're gonna do a. We're gonna demonstrate. I'll, I'll a, use. I'll use a uh, Robo for this one. Demonstrate a beer stick right here. Hold this the is, cap. Don't push it too hard. We have started, and within the next uh, one, two, three, we're now done. Cardwell has finished a beer stick. It's literally still so much beer left in that you didn't finish it to the end. There's one and a half <laughs> ounces. <laughs> like like you know, has, that is that is currently buffering. <laughs> it has not finished loading. Yay, buffering. Um, I also, I saw on that one you had quite a bit of quite air. Quite a bit of air. Yeah, air. You didn't, yeah. He you pushed d- that right down my throat. So you, wh- didn't, uh, <laughs> you didn't clear the air first. So fault. one, one thing you, you need to note is when you load that beer stick, you know you need to make sure you're loading it correctly. There, Maybe it we should make, I, you know what? I think we'll make a TikTok uh, demonstrating the beer. Like, not just the beer stick. Like, I think all we've done is, like, just drink the beer stick. And everybody goes... Oh, so I just put beer in it and I drink it. Right. No, no, no. There is a process setup process to the beer yeah. stick. Okay. It yeah. it does require it's got the it's got the rubber O rings, which prevents the leakage out of the backside. Um 
and those things need to be properly lubric- lubricated you before you yeah, can. Pam uh, them up. Yeah, so I usually use cooking spray. Um, olive oil works well. Yeah. Um, any kind of earl. Yeah, and 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 um, <laughs> for those that might be listening, this this could be somebody's first episode. Uh, this podcast is not exclusively talking about drinking beer. Uh, so do you want to give maybe a quick little idea of what this podcast is all about? I guess I won't open my beer right now when you just said that. <laughs> but, um, no, we're four dads, uh, fairly new dads. When you know, I was thinking about this the other day too. When are we not new dads anymore? I think we're there. Like you think, like like I've got a sixteen month definitely old. Yours is nineteen months. Two years is definite. Maybe a year. Yeah, um, probably so probably about a year. Yeah. So I keep calling ourselves new dads, but like. We're probably getting close. We're it's like getting two close new to dads that. for sure, and yeah. two, two like just veterans, Tod- that, toddler dads, veterans that don't know what they're doing. Right. right. Um, no. So we're four uh, recently new dads, um, talking about life experiences, things that we um, have gone through, trying to give some advice uh, along the way of uh, for future dads or or new dads as well. Um, but really, there's there's no. Uh, I don't. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. There's. There's really no Jeez. rules. There's really no rules on this podcast. We kind of just talk about whatever we want, um, whatever we're feeling that day. This is totally unscripted. Um, there is no editing to this uh, podcast. We are one take and one take only. Yeah. So really, the main point we want to get across Back is, we're, and that's what <laughs> that's the main point. The main point we want to get across is. Uh, we're just here to hang out and watch baseball and root for no run first innings and gamble a little bit. And then we film a podcast so that we can say that we were productive yeah. with our so that we have proof to show our wives that we were actually right. we were working. We were actually working. We we're working yeah. on something <laughs> right. and without without y'all that listen to this podcast or watch it on YouTube or buy our merch or use our code dadvice for 20% off at the ba- at the beer stick website for all purchases. Uh, we've got nothing to show for it. So yeah. if you guys want to keep this going, then um, we, we, we need y'all to keep, keep being here. I mean, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. If you I guys mean, like and subscribe, show up, like so subscribe. far we've gotten way more people watching than we ever thought we would. Yeah. And listening, we Li- recorded yeah. way more episodes. We recorded we way more episodes would. than we thought we would. Yeah, that's and for sure. All we need is just to keep it going, so we can watch a little bit more base. If you guys, as an audience, can just get us through the NFL season next year, uh, and be able to record every Thursday night while there's Thursday night football on, yeah. I'll be a happy boy. Did Here's you know, the deal. There's, did Here's you know the deal. there's Friday night football week one? Ugh, I love that. I hate that. It's Thursday, Friday. And I think there's like a Wednesday game this year. It's a, I, th- I think there's a football game every day of the week Here's this the deal. season. Here's the deal. If y'all, get us, if y'all get us through watching sports as long as possible, we will get you through packing your hospital bag and getting through the first week at home and learning how to feed your baby and do other stupid shit. And the proper etiquette when you have the runs and you go to the daycare. Also that. We will get you through all those things if you get us through hanging out for a little bit longer. That's I mean, all we, we could, ask for. We could essentially, I mean, if this podcast kept going, right? I mean, our kids are just getting older. We could get them through sending your kids off to college, Boom. right? When does this podcast end? When it's all true. our kids are out of the house. Fine. When, and when then we, we have to come up with the kids on the podcast. Right. We have like, kids on here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so <laughs> we'll get we'll get into this. Um, We'll get into some updates. Uh, I know, Abs, you just got back from your cruise, and I'm sure you've got some other stuff to talk about. Um, So we'll get into that. So uh, anybody got any updates? Yeah, I've got an update. Oh, boy. Do I have an update for you. Somebody give me a mother-flipping update. All right. So, um, yeah, Abs, why don't you start us off, Mr. Uh, Cruise Boy over I've, here? I've got Cruise I've actually Cruise got Boy. quite a few updates. You know, I, I only missed one week. It's been, what, like two weeks since I've seen you guys? It feels but, like a month. Um, I've, I've got, it shows I've, your intro was a little a rusty. Lot, yeah. A lot has happened in the last two weeks. Um, Kennedy is um, singing songs. She can sing songs like she can. uh she does like uh, like when we do Baby Shark, like she does the like do 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 do. Um, she gets that from her mom or from you? Uh, I am a walking karaoke machine. I assume <laughs> that she gets that from me. Um, she can also sing 
uh, her ABCs all the way to the letter J. And she'll wow. like it's and it's like, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I think she has a lot of toys that sing the ABCs. Like that's like a pretty common toy for kids that would place music. So um so that's one thing. Um another thing we have uh recently joined the wagon gang. We purchased a, a wagon. Wow. Yeah. So wait. Don't you have an up a baby primo I, stroller? I have an up a baby stroller. I also have a bob, the jogging stroller. Um, and now I am in. You have the, one child and three devices to move that child. And around. now I am the Jeez. owner of a Wonderfold wagon, which is sick. the cream of what the crop the hell wagon. Even that? Dude, what? How do you. What? Why, why do you it's, have so many wagons? It's the cream of the crop wagon, dude. The Wonderfold is bad ass. We saw it at the zoo. It's yeah. pretty sick. But why do you have so many devices to move your child around? I think we're I think we're getting to the point. The stroller, she's she's about like tired of the stroller. I think what I think the difference in the 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 difference between the stroller <laughs> she's no, 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 fourteen listen, months listen, old. Listen, listen, she? She's sixteen months. No, she's not done with the stroller. We still use the stroller. I think the difference is the stroller is like every time I put her in the stroller and take her out and put her in the stroller. I got to clip her in because she will fall out of the stroller. I think the wagon, I don't have to clip her in. And she's like, she's to the point now, I think where we started was like, we need to get a wagon was we went to target the other day and she doesn't want to sit in the, the baby part of the shopping cart anymore. She wants to stand in the, and like ride like a surfboard. So, so we went to a wagon. So we have a wagon and we're going to, um, we've only like walked around the neighborhood in it, but we're going to take it. We're going to try the zoo this weekend and, and test it out and see how it goes. But we got a, a great deal on it, Facebook Marketplace. So um, Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not pay full price. Uh, so don't those don't a go to bucks. Debt three twenty four. A a brand new one is like seven hundred bucks. Jesus. Yeah. Where'd so you, you just took your winnings from the cruise and put it into a wagon. Yeah, I took how much did you snag it for on Facebook? Um I think I got it for four fifty. And it was uh <laughs> it was like and this was like the 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 ball in one. It was like it's got the like. Did you, off, fin- you finance it? Off road tires. No, paid cash money. It's good. Debt free. Twenty twenty four. Give me a red one. Off off road right. tires. Yeah, the red <laughs> yeah. red flyer. Whatever. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So we've got a wagon. I'll test that out this weekend. Um. The other thing. So we. So yes. That'll, we went, that'll be great if we go. If like we. It's a two seater. If we it, all go to Universal. Is it? Uh, I don't know if you can bring. You definitely can't take it to Disney. I know that. You can bring you, it to Universal. Why not? I I don't know if you can bring. You can't bring it to Disney because I looked at that. Um, Sea World will take it. I didn't look Universal, but I'm, I don't wow. know. I don't. I don't remember looking around Universal. Why, why is it, why is it not allowed at Disney? Too big. There's because it's Disney. Because you can't fold it up. It folds up. Yeah, it kind of folds up like a you know like a when it's folded up, it's like stands up tall. It kind of looks like a tent, like a like a you know like a back, like a tailgating tent mm-hmm. kind of thing when you push the legs together. I have one of those that I got at like a like Dick's Sporting Goods for like 150 bucks. I think why not I, as fancy. I think as why the, I liked this one. Because the name brand? No, it's because it you push it with handlebars. You don't walk it yeah. behind you. Yeah. So I think I think that was the big thing because I was like uh, something about like walking with my kid behind me. You can't and look. I'm at looking him. forward. Right. Yeah, you right. don't know what's going on. And yeah. so so I kind of that was kind of our thing. But um, I've I've never really tested it out. So we'll see. Um, the other update. This one's really funny. This isn't really an update. But um, when we were in North Carolina. We went to Asheville, wanted to go to Asheville for a day. And the last time I was in Asheville was when we went for uh, Mac's birthday. No, oh, right? baby. Another thing you missed, dude. You, she just missed all kinds of stuff. But you had COVID, oh, it ba- right? I had COVID, yeah. It was bachelor party, wasn't it? No, that was, no, his bachelor party was in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Blue yeah. Ridge, okay. His, his we birthday, to, it was uh, his 30th had, birthday. Yeah, I had COVID and I was closing We went to, uh, what's it called? What's the wine place called? The Biltmore? Where? The Biltmore, yeah. Yeah, we went to the yeah. Biltmore. So we go to Asheville. So I hadn't been to Asheville since then. That was a long time ago. And uh, there's this new bar in Asheville. And it's it's called the Asheville Sports Club. Shout out Asheville Sports Club. Um, they have like a like a basketball court at the bar. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was sick. And so, but to play on the court, you had to be a member. And like basically they just like take your take your ID, take a picture of it. And like they, you didn't do anything. But so me and Janie's mom... We became members so we could play on the court. Nice. Uh, me and Janie's mom became members so we could play on the court. Janie didn't want to do it. And so I was like being an ass the whole time. Like, Janie, you can't. You're not allowed on the court. You're not a member. <laughs> Don't come on the court 
you're not a member. And she's like, I'm bringing the baby on the court. I'm like, well, you can't bring that baby on the court either. She's not a member. And so what happened while we were on the court? Janie picks up a motherfucking basketball, shoots the motherfucking basketball. It hits the motherfucking rim. It shoots up and lands directly on Kennedy's head. Wow. Fucking <laughs> smasher. And I was like, no. that is why you're not allowed on the court because you are not members. Not a member. And so um, it did not. she did not get a member's bounce, clearly. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. I thought it was. Was there any other? I'm like fascinated. So my by baby's this. in concussion protocol. I, I I have literally <laughs> I've literally been thinking about this as a business concept of like a sports bar membership club like combo. What was the? I w- I've been thinking about that for like a while. Like because there's sports bar right over here, and then there was like a Mexican restaurant that closed right next to it, and I was like, like I was just thinking about like member only things, and like could you make us turn a sports bar into a member only it was, club? It was interesting though. I, I, there must be some kind of law in North Carolina because we went we went to a couple other places. Not all, they weren't all in Asheville, but just around North Carolina. And there were a couple places that were like, "Are you a member?" And we were like, "What?" And they're like, but what like, what what were the benefits of being a member of a sports I, bar? I, I think it I th- I think it just had to do with like a bar in general. Some of these bars in general with like maybe their maybe their license like their alcohol licensing is like or maybe like when you sign up to be a member there's some kind of like liability waiver that's in there. Or there's like some some different kind of You're like drunk playing basketball some, like if you roll your ankle because you're wasted. Well that's yeah. fair. Don't try and come Or maybe back. like some different you kind of You sign the membership. Bro. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't that know. That makes sense. Rules. But we did we went to like a restaurant like we took the boat to a restaurant like on the water and it was the same thing. It was like Oh, you had to pay a dollar to be a member, and your membership lasted for ten years, or what? like it was it's just like a way to make money. Yeah, yeah like you're know. a member. You become one dollar for ten years. It's like, is it really worth that <laughs> much money? Jesus. Do you okay. become a member of uh, Top Golf too? Right, like that's how they do it. Also, they're a membership. That's a membership. Yeah, you got to sign up. Yeah, for to hit them that's all like a data of, data tracking. Thing. Probably. I don't. I don't. I don't know what they do. Um. But yeah, those are those are a couple of things. Um, the cruise, the cruise was freaking awesome. It was. We had a blast. <laughs> Um, made some money in the casino, relaxed, drank a bunch. I mean, we were watermelon margaritas. That was that was kind of the go to the whole weekend. Did you wear the only dad's hat? I did not. I didn't. Oh, do wow, it. dude. I didn't. I, I I keep the only dad's, but I do think I sold a beer stick. I did talk a guy in it, and it was like, you have beer stick. I have a podcast. Like <laughs> dad advice, twenty percent off. And he was like, he was actually upset that I didn't bring the beer. Sorry, beer stick. I didn't bring the beer stick. I didn't want to piss Janie off on our vacation um smart but it was fun one you, you could have bought the beer bro if you had that if i had the beer bro i would have brought that would have been in my pocket she wouldn't even know i had it no um i should have brought it but i will say and, and then and i'll let you guys give updates sorry i'm talking a lot today but um the the best part about the cruise and this is something that i've always talked about and Janie, i always talked about when we were um when kennedy was first born and even like before she was born but the importance of still making time for like mom and dad alone time. And that was like that trip was the first time that Janie and I have been like away from the baby, like no responsibilities, like just the two of us, like able to enjoy the two of us since we went to your wedding, which was over, which was over a year ago. And even then we weren't really alone. We stayed at a house with, Robo and Strack. So it was so it wasn't even like a like an a uh, an alone thing, you know. You were trying to get that alone time. Yeah, but it was fun. And um I'm trying to chill. Nice. <laughs> we uh we really we really enjoyed it. It was a great time. I think a cruise is probably the best bang for your buck vacation, right? If you're trying to vacation there's a big difference, vacation well, and travel. For your buck? Okay. But I think, I think uh <laughs> Yes. I think points. we I think we will do another one. And I think too when Kennedy's older, we'll take her on cruises. I think there was a lot of stuff on that ship that I walked by and was like, yeah, Kennedy would like that. I will be on that same ship in approximately two weeks from, no, like a Monday? week and a couple of days. Not next week, but the week after. Oh, a week from Monday. Yeah, don't, go ahead and don't talk into the mic. Hey, okay. Yolks with Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe I can talk and drink a beer at the That's same time? You're a ventriloquist. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Um, I'll just give like a brief update because somebody wanted to use all the all time right. and we got a game on the horizon. Um, one of the things that I've I realized today, like, uh, so Ivy learns a lot of stuff at daycare and I didn't, like, I don't know all the words that he knows and he just, is this QR code linked to us? Like, no. Yeah. 
Like if someone yeah. scans, no. no, yeah, it's not. It's not. No. Yeah, you're saying it. yes. Try it. It's not. You're saying no. It's not. No, so it's that, not. That's dude. a ten percent. That's a ten percent discount. Our code is a twenty percent discount. We should print. The QR code stickers to slap on the, over this. The promo code D A D V I C E Dad Vice is twenty percent off. That is a ten percenter. So use promo code Dad Vice for all your beer stick accoutrement. Sorry. Uh, but no, we were walking uh, after we got chicken wings, keto, sweet. It's like a cheat code. Mm. Uh, we went to get ice cream, and Ivy along the way saw an owl, like a like a little sticker of an owl. Is that rain? It's raining. Oh my gosh. Good. ASMR. That was Good. loud. Good. My yard needs it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he saw an owl and he just points at the owl and he goes, owl. And I was like, you know the word owl? And he, then he goes, hoo hoo. And he like knew that an owl made the sound hoo. So there's. Say, yeah, I don't think it's more. I don't think it's cooler that like he knows the owl. It's that he can associate. Yeah, no, he goes, like, that's like, an owl. He points yeah. at the owl, touch the you owl, said owl. You guys will who. see soon. Dude, it's amazing like how smart kids but, are. But, so like I'm thinking like, was you know, I'm not like worried about him, but he doesn't have like a ton of words that like I know. All the stuff that he needs around the house, like he uses all those words regularly, like milk and water and, mm-hmm. you know, all the stuff. But it's like... <laughs> When am I going to see an owl or say owl or no? I have no idea. Yeah. So he's just in his brain. He's just got like a ton of knowledge and a ton of that I just have no idea about. Like this kid's like got, you know, he knows like somewhere he learned how to give me a kiss on the cheek. I don't know where that came from, but he's like learned that better not be at freaking daycare. Jesus, that's a little weird, but <laughs> he learned how to like give a kiss too. So, um, yeah, he's picking up a ton of stuff that like is now I'm now realizing that like. When people say like, "Oh, how do where did my kid learn that sentence or that word or that whatever?" that like I'm starting to go, "Oh my god, he knows stuff and I don't have no idea what he knows." Mm-hmm. And that's only going to get more and more insane as he learns words and phrases and like I'll I'll listen to like a, you know, a song in the car and then like he'll start saying that song and I'll be like, "Oh, that's what he's saying. He's singing the Yin Yang Twins." <laughs> oh jeez. Wait till one Wait, day he comes home my- and is like I- Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac. Nice. All over two a. The quadratic equation. The quadratic equation. Points for me. Secondly, the quadratic <laughs> formula. Thank you. Technically, the quadratic formula equations have equal signs. There's no equal sign. Anymore. What the yeah. hell? But I get what you're saying. That? I get what you're saying. You're trying. That's appreciated. <laughs> I should stop mathing you guys. I'm a PE teacher now. Drop and give me twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had that song queued up. Twenty beer sticks. Hey, um, the other thing you mentioned, speaking about uh, water in the yard, I got uh, an adjustable or a uh, expanded Ryobi string trimmer, and I was pretty dang excited about oh, it. Relax with you the You couldn't Father's wait two Day. weeks for Father's Dude, Day? No, I bought it for guy, myself. This guy said early Father's <laughs> Day to me. We're going to get in. We're going to get in. All right. Um, so we'll go We'll go to you first because you're me? the uh, older father. Um. Really, not much going on All since right. last so week. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you got? No, continue. No. Go. Yo, did the Yankees score in the ninth or what? I don't it know. It was the eighth, but go. <laughs> I don't know. What do you, what's your update? Carlos go. got it. No, chop, chop. On. Being a got? douche. Uh, don't got? be um, a baby. Call no, your mommy. Nothing, nothing too crazy going on over the last week. Um, I told y'all they started like scooting around a little bit. So, they're, they're, not completely crawling, but they are like a little bit mobile. Like when you set them down, like they will be like a foot over this way when you go back to get them. Um, and then their top teeth started coming in a little bit. So like Ooh. when they come in, they're like little razors, man. Like, and yeah. I didn't even notice one of them had it and she bit down on my finger and I was like, Whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So other, but other than that, I mean, they're still sleeping good, you know, knock on wood. Um, Blake had a little bit of a, issue the other night but for the most part 12 hours man nice. what's been the uh, teething toy of choice anything that is within their grasp is it has, has, the co- has the cold helped uh not really so we tried to freeze a couple of toys to see if that was like hey does this is this like gonna be the magic cure-all like are they gonna stop picking up every other toy no it, it doesn't matter whether it's cold or not they're anything that is within their reach they are gonna pick it up and put it in their mouth more important than your kid, though. You guys are getting a little alone time, right? He was mentioning alone time. Aren't you getting some oh, this yeah. weekend? This weekend. Ooh. My parents are on the way. It is our five-year wedding anniversary. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. <laughs> we are going to stay at our old condo. 
<laughs> you should have rented the house that you guys got married in. Way too expensive. That bitch was big, bro. Was big ass big. house. Yeah. Way that too expensive. That was a big ass house. Way and they were expensive. side by side, right? Didn't you rent both of them? The ones. Yeah, my parents had the one right next door. Yeah, there was a but big it was, ass. It, big we ass we house. actually like two or three years ago talked about it, but that place like books up so fast yeah. over the summer. It's like crazy. So like we looked at it last year around this time. And we were going to do it. And then I saw the price and I said, yeah, let's just get like a hotel or something. Like, let's go to a nice hotel. <laughs> and then I saw the price on hotels and I said, yeah, let's go stay at the old condo for free. Yeah, you should. Let's, rent. Go, let's go to the best Western. Isn't, our old, isn't uh, the old townhouse at the beach? Isn't that an Airbnb now? I just saw it for rent on a website. Megan saw it, it was it's it was listed fully furnished rental for forty six hundred a month. Oh, like a like oh, a long term geez. rental. Yeah, like a long term rental. 4600 4, a month. Man, I was getting a steal paying 700 bucks a month. I know. There. He was <laughs> complaining, too. Yeah, y'all up the rent. I don't, even, I don't even remember what I paid for the rent. I think it was I think it was the same as what he was paying. That's insane. Yes. Wow, that's 4, wild. 4600 a month. Yeah. I want to say 700 and it looks bucks, exactly 700 the same? bucks a month. <coughs> Actually, he might have been paying less. I think he might have been paying, like, because he was only there for, like, a couple months. I don't remember. I paid... I know. My, I think my first year I paid seven hundred a month, and then I think my second year you, fa- you paid it all up. I front. paid it all up front. I also, I didn't, I also didn't have a yob, and so maybe it came out to seven fifty yeah, yeah, a yeah. month. Um, all right, so um, I'll finish it up. So I have got a couple. Uh, the first one, uh, I've made it through two weeks of FMLA like solo parenting. Oh, that's right. You're at home what? by yourself with the kid right now. Can yeah. I? Can we finish? It? What does FMLA stand for? Because every time I hear FMLA, Email I think money laundering. fuck my life. And then like, I don't know what the A part stands for. So like, what does it actually stand for? Female money laundering. It's, uh, it's like family medical leave. Of absence. Of, of absence. absence. Oh. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That's actually probably exactly what it is. Hey, if that's not yeah, what it is, could you leave in the comments like what it actually means? No, pretty, it's family. It means Cause I think it's like, female money it's like laundering. fuck my life always. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what it's... Oh, we just said what it means. Are you sure that's what it means? Yes. Okay, oh well, God, correct us in the comments if you need to. It All means right. he gets time off of work. Yeah. Anyway, well, yeah. Oh, no, that's so um, and that's a, that's a uh, national, right? That's not a state-specific thing. That's a... Correct. Yeah, that's so national. you can so get... I want to say it's you can get up to three months in the first year um, non-consecutive. Um, it's not guaranteed pay... I'm using PTO to be off this time. Right. Um, and that usually employers will stack it. So they're, what FMLA is, is your job is protected for the three months. It's protected correct. for 12 weeks. It has to be protected. But they, it's not paid. It's not nothing. So if anybody's listening to this in Canada, oh, Canada, we have some listeners, that's completely different. They can take like six months off on maternity leave paid and their job gets back and their job is there when they get back. Damn. In America, all they do is protect wow. your job to say like, you'll come back to the same job when you return, but money out the window. Yeah. That's wow. the national. Yeah. I don't even know if there, there might be some states that do it different, but that's the national minimum yeah. standard. Does it, it maybe it varies company to company too. Oh, every company does yeah. their own thing. Yeah. yeah. Companies have their own policies. Yeah, correct. Um, but uh, so I am on that right now for, it's been two weeks and the baby's still alive. Um, I will say the one thing that I've noticed I absolutely love my kid and it has been awesome and it's just been crazy. Like I've learned that the things that Tiff teaches him and the things that I teach him are very different. Like he gets very different things and um, I've learned the appreciation of what Tiff has accomplished in her time off. Um, it's, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm trying is to she, not get Is she canceled. like listening? And no, I'm just trying to get us canceled. Shout out to you. I'm trying to not get us canceled. Wait, are you trying to bank points right now? No, I'm just trying to not get us canceled. She knows. Shout out to um, She must be pissed that he did the beer stick. No, he's trying to I'm, try, I'm trying <laughs> to not get us canceled. I don't know. Um, it's, it was, su- I wouldn't be able to accomplish any of this without the scheduling and everything. It is really raining. Holy it's shit! Real, um, really do you think people? Do you think you can hear that on the? Yeah, but we'll um, find out. Yeah. Right? So, anyways, I'll just leave it at that. Like, she accomplished a lot in her time off with 
him getting comfortable with his scheduling and stuff like that, and he's learning a lot of tactile stuff. He's getting for three months old. He can grab things and like he's really learned how his hands work and everything. Um, he we've been practicing rolling, so I for the first time a couple of days ago put like I saw this thing where to practice uh, rolling. Uh, you can put all four limbs together and just kind of like roll them back and forth and I like, kind of just get them used to all that motion. And as soon as his hands touched his feet, he started laughing his ass off <laughs> and like real actual laughs. And I haven't heard that in, he did it one time a long time ago and he hasn't done it since. And it was like crazy to hear like real laughs from him. It was super funny. He's like, oh, my God, these toes feel crazy. Kids dude, are one, funny, dude. One of, one of my daughters the other day, I think she just realized that, like, you can, she can move her fingers individually. Mm-hmm. So, like, she's always been, like, you know, grabbing at stuff and whatever. And the other day, she, like, we, we've been teaching her saying, like, oh, how big is Blake? And she'll, like, throw her arms up, like, so big. Well, the other day, she did it, and her hands, like, stopped here. And she, like, looked at her hands and just, like, started, like, going like that, like, just, like, closing her fingers individually. Yeah. And was like so surprised by it. Hmm. Like, like, oh I, my God, I can I, control uh, these. I can look at Ivy now and I can like <laughs> do hand motions and he'll try to like copy what I'm yeah. doing. And that's yeah. like the next that's stage crazy. of that. FMLA uh, for me was really not about teaching my son anything. It was just surviving. It was just like, <laughs> I just need to survive for the next eight weeks or whatever it is. Because I'm like, this is yeah. tough. This is not. The, uh, the last thing that I got is... Um, so Tiff, luckily, she's an overproducer, so I have a lot of milk to deal with at the house with him. Um, but we're dealing with frozen milk from the beginning of pregnancy, and we were really worried because um, some people don't know this, but some women have what is called high lactase, and it uh, is the breakdown of fat, and it doesn't... It's really good in the fact that it is very antimicrobial, so it makes the milk last longer and it destroys bacteria, stuff like that. But it breaks down the fat in the milk to a point where it can sometimes, when you uh, melt the frozen milk, um, can make it off-putting to the babies. It can make it to where it smells bad, it tastes bad, almost like a, like a fishiness to it. And some babies really don't do well. So we were really worried about that. And um, he does great with it. He's, he's, he doesn't care at all. He's fine. And uh, that makes everything a lot easier. I've never heard of that. So yeah. yeah. Is that what you wrote in the note? Is that what that note said in the... In yeah. The, yeah. Because yeah. Cause it must have autocorrected. Because it said like, hi, and it was like L-I-P-A-S-E. And I was like... Oh, lipase, fuck? lipase. That's that's. Did fuck I say lactase? No, I meant lip, lipase. Lipase. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was reading that, I was like, "What the fuck yeah. is that?" So <laughs> lipid, lipid. Who's got who's got relapse? That's yeah. what I kept reading. It lipid, lipid, lipid just means fat. So it's like oh. a enzyme for fat breakdown. Um, and some babies really do not like it. Like they refuse to drink frozen milk. They do not like it at all, and they will refuse it. And um, so we were worried. So we tested it out one day with frozen milk and he did fine. And since I've been home, he's been fine with it. But you can definitely if you unfreeze milk and then you smell the bottle like fresh milk just smells like milk. Tastes better. If too. you unfreeze, <laughs> if you Wait, unfreeze milk, um, you can smell it. it. It definitely has a scent to it. And um yeah, formula so that shit smells fucking formula gross. Disgusting. disgusting. If you guys, that shit smells gross. If you Bro, guys have a ton, disgusting. If you guys have a bunch of like, we got three milk, gallons, and it's like, like I know, like I think they say it's like it's I don't know what the time is. It's like in the fridge, it's like a, a few days. In the freezer, it's like a few months. In a deep freezer, it's like more months. I don't know what the numbers. I don't know what the numbers are. <laughs> That's just science. Great, but if it's getting close to like expiring or anything like that, or you have so much. Um, you can use it in baths too. I don't know we, do that. Yeah, we do that. We do that. Use yeah. it in baths before. Um, all right. Uh, so that's the end of the updates. Uh, we can get into the core of this episode, which is, uh, by the time this airs, it's gonna be Father's Day in three days. So in, shout in, out in daddies. On, shout out daddies. In honor of that, what? press the button. 
I don't know what button you want me to press. Are we playing a game? Oh, well, that's that's we're not there yet. Oh, we're not no, there no, yet. No, okay, no, no, dude. No. Sorry. Hot uh, so, yeah. So I just wanted <laughs> to ask <laughs> if um, anybody has any Father's Day plans, if they have any uh, gifts that they have asked for or anything like what What do we got? Yeah, like we we did a big Mother's Day. Thing. This is your first Father's Day. We did it's a big Mother's Day. thing. So let's let's uh, <laughs> let's. Yeah, let's see. Like, what it's do you guys not, got going? It's not Christmas. It's not birthday. Well, that's the point. Don't the num- for, the don't number one piece gifts. of advice is don't get, don't get, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> right. Like, it's uh, don't nah. get your hopes up. Father's Day. I, I enjoy whatever Father's. you just got recently. Like, if you just bought like a, like a, a, a you know, a hedge trimmer, <laughs> and like a case had, of beer that had nothing to do with her Father's Day, that might be your Father's Day gift. So Emily, Emily said she got me something the other day. She's like. Oh, I got you this really cool thing. Like she works at Fanatics, so like we get the discount. Yeah. She's like, Oh, I, I got you this really cool thing. I was like, Oh, is that what hit my credit card for Fanatics? Yeah. <laughs> <I> was like, <laughs> she was yeah. like, Oh, it hit yours? I was like, Yeah. She goes, Oh, well, you got yourself this cool thing for Father's <laughs> Day. Like it's Hell coming yeah. in. Hell yeah. I just got my yeah, I just got myself and then, a new <laughs> and then Shrek and then Shrek goes, You're not a very good gift receiver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I bought it for myself. I bought it for myself. <laughs> <Not> so <laughs> it was just like shopping. Um, I, yeah, I just got myself a new pair of shoes the other day. I will. Uh, Meg- I, Megan says I'm impossible to shop for, and I'm like, really? I have like a lot of stupid like hobbies. Like, there's yeah. nothing. Like, I have, like so many. Just get him hobbies. like ten packs of Pokemon. Cards. Like, and even like a pack of Pokemon cards. Give me like a son, think, son, baseball, like a like a Tua. I'm Megan, probably, Megan won't hear this in time to know. Yeah, She'll, I'll get like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I think I'm like, no, it's really cool though. It's like a wooden, it's like a wooden tie, and I'll be like, yeah, oh, it's so, oh, it's great. It's I work cool. at home. I work, yeah, I work. I work from home. I work from home. I wear pajamas every day. Buy me a new pair of stretchy pants. Damn Honestly, it. that'd be pretty sick though. Give me a new blanket. Like, did you see like they in, during like the pandemic they had like pajama like work pajamas? It looked like you were wearing a suit. Suit pajamas, like in how I met your mother. Shout out Barney. Yeah, Stinson. but it's like <laughs> shout out Barney Stinson. Shout yeah. out Barney Stinson. It was, and then that one night he wore a nightgown, and those chicks showed up at his Hot door. Chicks showed up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be a pretty. That, that's a thoughtful gift. See, you guys are pretty thoughtful. I work from home. Give me a. Maybe I got myself some suit pajamas. I, I think I'm. <laughs> maybe. I think, I think Let me I'm check my tough. credit card statement. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pretty tough to shop for, um, too. And I think the reason. Really. Yeah, and I think the reason why I don't think you're hard to shop for at all. Well, well, I mean, like, I think <laughs> I'm an amazing. You literally got so excited for an only dad's hat. No, I'm an amazing gift receiver. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love, I love receiving gifts. But for like Janie, it's like, you know, if I want a new pair of shoes, I'm not gonna say, "Hey, can you get me a new pair of shoes for Father's Day?" It's like, if I want a new pair of shoes, I'm gonna go buy a new pair of shoes today. Yeah. Right. If I want an Xbox, I'm not gonna say. Can you get me an Xbox for Christmas? Which is exactly I'm why go, I'm hard to shop for because I just right. bought lawn equipment right. for myself a week yeah, before yeah, yeah. Father's Day. I'll just go buy. Don't you it. have a lawn I'll service? Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. I just I just go buy it today. Like I don't want to. I don't want to wait till Father's Day to get it. Um, so I think you're spilling beer all over the floor. By the way, yeah, because you didn't finish that beer stick. It's I, fine. I didn't give. It's Could you pick it up? <laughs> I don't want to spill beer all over the floor. What? Yeah, Jesus. Dude. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was a zero gravity beer stick. Sick. Um, no, for Father's I Day, I I, uh, I texted my dad, so I think we're gonna try to run over there to his house. He's got a pool. Um, so I thought he wanted to be left alone. No, that's moms. Okay. No. Dads want to be with their kids. Dads. Dads want to golf. Dads want to. Dads want to yeah. golf. So I'm either gonna go to my dad's and not with their kids. No, with their boys. Oh, okay, <laughs> not with their girls. Okay, no, um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Claire. Dad, yeah, Dad well, doesn't I, want you there. <laughs> <laughs> just the boys. No, actually, I think um, here's the opposite. Okay, got yeah, it. no, I was just uh, I texted my dad. I said, let's get together. He's got a pool, so we get Kennedy in the pool and do stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking for a for a any chill uh, day. anybody got any family coming into town or anything like no. 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 Uh, my parents are coming. My parents town. will be in town. So, so like I said before, uh, it's also my birthday is Father's Day. Same day. So, uh, my birthday's Monday. Father's Day Sunday. Well, that sounds so. like you're having two days in a row. No, it means that's I why get, he's asking for gifts. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get nothing. Is basically the end of it. Yeah, um, also, mother's, also Mother's Day and your wedding anniversary were back to back days, weren't they? Yeah. 
Four she got eight. she got double days. She gets double. I get. She better. Nothing. I'll tell you what, Tiffany. This is gonna air before Father's Day and before Cardinal's birthday. You better do two things for him. Well, here's the funny thing: is she works that weekend. <laughs> well, so you better. I will be <laughs> stuck with the baby. Order yeah. him an edibles arrangement. I was gonna say for you, I think it'd be good to give you like a tree of Bud Light and the day off to be like to just do like whatever you want. Wouldn't that be a great gift from Janie if she got you that? Yeah. Just get you like here's a six pack of Bud Light. Go hang out with your friends. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, but he does that on. Yeah, but I do all the time. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's right just now. a Tuesday. <laughs> here's yeah. a bunch of Bud Light. Go hang out with your friends. That's called. <laughs> that's a good. That's, a that's good called Father's the Bad Dad Vice Podcast. Is that a good Father's Day <laughs> gift? What if we all got a six pack of beer? And like w- had to hang out, and that was our Father's Day gift for all of us. That's a great gift. Be dope. It's a good <laughs> gift. And it's like so I think easy. they should change. I, I I'm gonna put it out there to change the date of Father's Day. Like why in the middle of June? Like there's nothing going on in the middle of June, and it's hot as balls out. I know. Can we do? Can we move Father's Day to football season? And we go like, hey, you get and like, hey, you first get this week day? of football season. I'd like fa- I'd like Father's Day to be the opening weekend of the NFL. Put that, that out there. You know what? That's a good idea. Dude, like, because like what? Like, what am I gonna? I watch? don't hate that. What it's am I gonna idea. watch next su- on Sunday? Like, I'm gonna sit at home. I'm gonna drink beer. Mid season oh, baseball. No, no. You know, it's better. What, than, it's what better, am I gonna watch? My it's kid. Be- it's better than the Formula One. <laughs> Currently, Formula One. the opening season or the opening at weekend what, of football is like yeah. is nine eleven. What? That's the current opening weekend of football, right? Every no, year not, this year, not, not this year. Every year it's nine eleven. This year it's not. No, not every year. Because there's sometimes September, like, September some t- 5th. Yeah, I was going to say my birthday falls year. on opening weekend. Yeah. Was it the 5th? Because labor it's always okay. the weekend after Labor, labor day. day. Labor Day is early this year because... Yeah, it's always after Labor day. day. Yeah, so this year it's not 9-11. Yeah. That'll be week two. But, but yeah, w- opening weekend of football? That'd be great. That should birthday. be Father's Day. Or switch su- switch or Labor, labor day? day? weekend. Like switch Labor Day and Father's Day? Switch Labor Day would become a great like grilling holiday. The only problem with that is I get Labor Day off of work. I can't imagine that uh, these government uh, companies are going to give Father's Day off government of work. Government pukes. Yeah. So they're not, I get Labor Day off of school. Well, I'm not going to give Father's Day. Now you're a PE teacher. So, so every sorry. Day no, it's not. Every day is work, dude. Dude, it's PE, dude. Just wait, dude. P-E, dude. Just wait to see how fit these wildcats are. <laughs> they you know fit and donuts and wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All and right. Uh, so at this point of the episode, should we get to? Yeah, why not? We're not taking microphones and we're doing ding dings. We got a ding ding ding. We got like everybody's holding a microphone. We got ding, we got ding, we got that. We got camera one, camera two, camera three, and we're dinging in a microphone. Yeah, it's game time. We need to really update that. That was like the first thing that we ever made. And oh, all the, all of the graphics it. are hilariously bad, but I like yeah. that. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I think they're for me more than they are for anybody. How, long, right. how long have we been shooting this episode for? Uh, 43 minutes. Okay, good. I want to do another beer, bro. So <laughs> you, If you can like, set it up. I don't have any more beer. I don't have any more beers. And I don't want to try to set it up while doing this because I spilled the fuck so out. So you don't us. have any beers, but you wanted to interrupt everything yeah. just to say. No, no, no. Say. Like, I mean, like when we're done, I want to do another one of these. So you interrupted everybody to tell us what you're going to do after we're done. Maybe we'll put it on TikTok. Okay. Yeah. Look out for that on TikTok. Yay. All right. So um, happy Father's Day. Hey, for the game today, I thought it would be fun. Um, good housekeeping came out with a list of the top gifts for Father's Day for okay. 2024. What does and a magazine for women know about what men want? Exactly. So I What's that Ying Yang Twins song? I think women always talking about what men do. We don't ever talk about what women do, at least till now. And it goes, wah, 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 wah. You guys heard that song before? <laughs> okay. I think that was the whole point of this. She's talking to me like I'm dumb. I should have known. I should have left that girl alone. That's the edited version. <laughs> but now I'm stuck with wah, 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 wah. That's a great song. Okay. Um, I think that was Hot the whole. Shout that out was, I think that was the point of this, of why it was. Shout the out Ying Yang Twins. I know, but I needed to like. Some of the he needed to show are, off his karaoke. Some of the listeners are slow. I don't think you us. need another beer, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. I need another beer. <laughs> You're doing quite a bit of interrupting, <laughs> just to be clear. Whopper, whopper, I missed whopper, last whopper. week. So you talk over everybody? I got, you double, I got double talk. All right, um, so we're gonna go through the top ten. I just want to hear if any of you guys. How's the game work? Are we just yeah, um, so you guys work. are just gonna guess 
things that are might be in the top 10 a watch okay hold on hold on and then so do we just guess and then and then i'll just i'll just go through them <laughs> wait, wait, wait should wait, we first guess 10 to, hey should i guess 10 things that are on the list or should i, I guess should, should i guess one thing and then you read the 10th thing and see if I guess the 10th thing or you texted us this morning that you had a game like <laughs> you didn't think of the rules of the fucking game. <laughs> like you said I found a list it's going to be a game if, and if, <laughs> if we were just going to go hold on. What he did. if we were just going to go through a list shouldn't we be playing overrated underrated yes oh, okay we'll do overrated it's time to play overrated <laughs> You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me $200. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So for the viewers out beer, there, bro. the viewers, just so the viewers know, we don't plan anything. We don't try. I don't. We just need you guys to keep watching so we can hang out on Thursdays. Okay. Please just hang out with us so just that we can give hang us out. this one thing. <laughs> just give us subscribers so that we can continue to just <laughs> fuck around. And listen. Yeah. He wanted us to just guess random shit. <laughs> just keep guessing because and then I'll read the list. I'm going to read the list. You guess. I'm going to read the list. How's that a game? Where's the game? Where's the game? Now this overrated underrated I can get on board with. I'm All on right. board with this. All right. So All play right. along with us at home. Yell at your uh, yell at Jesus. your significant other, whoever you're listening to this with, and tell them what you think if this is overrated or underrated. <laughs> Father's Day gift edition. All right. Um, <laughs> so, so I'll start with number ten. Good. Okay, I like that. Okay, good. Good. That was a good a decision. That's a good decision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. A little yeah. bit of thought into it. Yeah. So people stick around. Yeah, stick around for number one. All right. Um, so number ten. Is a cooling bucket hat. I fucking love bucket hats. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. And I was actually thinking about this. Part of the reason I don't wear this hat that much is I'm actually not a ball cap kind of guy. Even like as a baseball player, I didn't wear my hat uh, as a catcher. Like I, I just never, I never wore it. Um, but I love bucket hats, and I can't wait to that. I mean, the kids are gonna know me at the school as that's the fat bucket hat PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fat head. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna call that <laughs> underrated, yeah? That's an underrated gift. Oh, bucket hats are dope. Yeah, it's the best gift. Is it underrated or is it overrated? That's the whole game. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, underrated. Robo, I think it's underrated. I, I'm a big fan of like I've seen a couple of hats that have like this weird like cooling technology in them. Yeah. And they look really cool. I think that that's an indicator of the rest of this list that that's gonna be like something that you wear to keep you cool while you're doing the yard work. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, but I think it's underrated. Sense. I think it's underrated because that gives me the ability to wear a bucket hat when normally, if I bought it for myself, or <laughs> most people, I won't say me, Megan. I won't say that you would do this, but most people's wives would be like, "You're not wearing that bucket hat. Don't put on that jumbo shirt bucket hat yeah. when we go out." But oh, if she yeah. got it for you for Father's yeah, Day, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, I'm wearing your Father's and Day I gift. W- yeah. I so. Oh, that's a good thing. That's why it's underrated. Sh- Strack I, I fucking hates bucket hats. Right. Dude, but if she got hats. you a bucket hat for Father's Day, you'd be like, I, I'm wearing your gift. It's your <laughs> gift. Right, I, I will wear it. Sh- I rock the shit out of a bucket hat. And any any 360 degree brim cap, right? Whether it's a straw, a straw hat or Ten a gallon. Yeah. Any any yeah, any three sixty Fedora. Three hundred and sixty degree <laughs> No, 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 no. Sun protection. But sun protection. That a Fedora. Fedora is not protecting you from the sun. Are <laughs> you thinking like so like a so like a yarmulke? Would that be three hundred sixty degree hat? <laughs> you <laughs> said it, not me. I didn't say use it. Yes, I was you going, said fedora. I was going to yarmulke. Three hundred sixty. <laughs> yarmulke was number yarmulke overrated, not, underrated. Yarmulke over underrated. <laughs> yeah, ben, Un- underrated. A yarmulke does not protect yeah. you from the sun. Of, at all. of all of the religious accoutrement, uh, that's the second time I've used the word accoutrement this episode. Uh, yarmulke is pretty underrated. Yo, Ben Shapiro ain't getting no skin cancer at any time. He, I, in that I, one spot on his head, absolutely right. right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, what's number nine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So number nine, we've got this is actually I love this. You're the host. You don't get to say. Unlock the whiskey escape room. It is a bar cage that you put a bottle of whiskey in. Interesting. And then there is a I'm intrigued. Lock on it that has cards associated with it and you have to escape the room to get to your bottle. I like that. I like it for one reason. Because if I do it and then I'm allowed to drink it, they can't, J- Janie can't yell at you. Put a Bud Light in there. Can't yell at me. I'm going to undo I it drank, so I can drink it. I drank your gift. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's another good one. It's not my fault that I'm that really good cool. at That sounds cool. And you know what? That sounds cool. I like that a lot. 
I was, I'm sure it's totally appropriately rated, but I hate escape rooms, but that sounds fun. Yeah. No, I, think, I, I, I love that. I'd say overrated. Okay. Just because like, don't like I puzzles, wanna, don't like booze. I just want to get to my booze quick. I don't want to work for quick. my booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just going to get so pissed off. Like, <laughs> but I would, just give me the goddamn my I, would, I would break it. Uh, I wouldn't be able to figure it out. Is it overrated? It might be overrated. It's so cool though. It's a cool. It's a cool. It's a, it's a cool trinket you, thing but, to have. But me and you love escape. I, I like puzzles. Is there a price like point puzzles. on it? Is these, do these have prices? Uh, yeah, I, if it was like a math equation on I it, I don't have them in my I'm phone, out. so I, I took pictures. So I don't. Know. Oh, okay. I, I I like it. I'm gonna say it's a. Pr- I'm gonna say it's. If I have to give it underrated or over, I think I'm gonna go overrated. Slight, just That's slightly, because it's like you can't really use. Oh, it you only use it once. You can use it more than one. It's also number nine. No, but you know it's number nine. Okay. It's slight, number nine. slightly overrated. But so you, far, right. I'm on for this list. I'm, I'm here right. for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Number eight. Tushy bidet I'm out toilet on this seat list. I'm out on this list. I don't want it anymore. Terrible list. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. You ever use a bidet? Bidet to you, sir. <laughs> a bidet? <laughs> a bidet is the greatest invention on this planet. We really are living. Like, I don't know why Americans are so against bidets. Because it's like. Dude. Bidets are amazing. I actually already own one of these. I just am so You have so many random Yeah, useless random shit. Yeah. I already random. own I already own a toilet seat bidet attachment, but I am so and un- the people wonder so why you're un- in debt free twenty twenty four. Well, this was a Christmas gift I got. I didn't buy it. Yeah, Abs gets but like I'm, weird shit for but Christmas. But I'm gifts, so like- unhandy. Don't know how to install it. Oh my god! <laughs> so I've had it for two years, and it's not it's just on my it's toilet. Squirt, it's squirting poopy water back up. Out of <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even attached. It's still in the box. I don't know how to put it together. I'll oh take it. Sell it on Facebook Marketplace. No, tri- I want to tri- use it. Oh my gosh! And so is that why you take a shower every time after you poop? <laughs> That's why I have to take a shower every time after I poop. Exactly. Wow. It's like an, it's like a full size bidet. Uh, I'm I don't know where I stand. Bidets on Bidets are underrated, dude. They're so underrated. I'm not close. I, I, my algorithm gave me some like toilet bidet stuff for like a stretch of like a couple days you know like algorithms do that mm-hmm. and it was showing me like crazy fancy yeah because you kept talking about itchy butt cracks was like was i talking about itchy your butt? phone was listening to you you're talking about your itchy butt crack and it said that's you like a a con- that's like confucius say he who go to bed with itchy butt wake up with stinky finger <laughs> uh but it was, it was like the toilet version that's like all baked in one i think if i was gonna do it like knowing me like i would want to go like give me the fancy toilet with my, the heated seat, so it like feels like somebody was dude, just on there warming it up. My yeah. my college roommate, uh, shout out Nick Graganella. His dad, he had one of those in like his master bedroom. And one time, yeah. and one time he was like, and my my nickname in community college was Big Donkey, and he came <laughs> up to me and he said, "Donk," that's what they call me, "Donk." <laughs> you need to try my new toilet. And it was it had a heated seat, yeah. it had the bidet, and then it even had the like drying fan. So you didn't even have to use toilet yeah. paper to dry your butt. It would it would fan I you think, dry. I think I did. It that. was awesome. Yeah. I, I don't know if I do. Whoa. I don't think I think I'm gonna go overrated for me personally on a add on attachment bidet. Just wipe your butt if you let me just yeah. wipe your butt. What do you say, Underrated, bro. That a, thing's dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, that another thing's dope. underrated. Another funny story about that, because that this was like two thousand twelve. So you use a bidet? I don't currently know, but bidets oh, okay. are dope. Yeah, bidets yeah but, are dope. but but bidets are. I'm saying like to do the attachment. Like it's if the I, same thing? I, yeah, no, I, yeah, like, I don't know. I'd right. be I'd be stoked if I got this one was of those. a lot of those times. A lot of times those things will leak because you got to like add it in and like there's yeah you got to connect right. it to the water. That toilet from 2012, I made a vine of it. If I could ever find remember my vine password, <laughs> I'd show it to you guys. I don't want to age myself. You're ridiculous. All right, um, <coughs> so number seven, we've got Kona grill mats. Oh, I've had those. Those what are, is are that? those are awesome. If, so, if you have an actual grill that like it basically turns your grill into like a griddle. Here's what I'm so saying. So it lets the heat come through. The product uh, itself. Overrated. The product itself is fine. As a Father's Day gift, it'd be like, Can you go cook me dinner? Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. That's overrated. And I, I I have a black I don't even have a normal grill, I just have a black stone. So this yeah, is like, this is where this is where I think it's it it gets interesting because there's a lot of the product itself, cool. But there's no. I'm, I'm sure doing, they're. I'm sure they're great. Just go like, do things <laughs> for like yeah, a no, Father's Day. It's like I mean, they cost like twenty bucks. They're so super. They're super mm-hmm. cool. But like again, I, I have a Blackstone as well. So it's like the only reason I end up buying grill mats was so that I could grow my vegetables and not like worry about them like falling through yeah. the yeah. grill. And if, and if your husband's like a hardcore grill master, 
They probably like already got some stuff. Yeah. Like, they probably already Correct. got their yeah. setup. Yeah. yeah. All right. So number six, we've got I personally I'm gonna say I love this. New York Times custom birthday book. So I'll explain this because uh, I had to, I had to read it to understand what it was. I'll take the grill map. So no no no, this is cool. I'll take um, the whiskey puzzle. So <laughs> basically, y- when you when you buy this, you give the birthday, like the actual birthday with the year and everything, and then the book has every New York Times front page for every year on your birthday. After that, right, but so it's y- Father's Day, get it for you on your birthday. Yeah, it sounds like a birthday gift. Well, it's, it's a f- I, I, I'm just saying this is what it says. <laughs> right. right, right. And in my retort, yeah, my, yeah, my, my yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, we're telling the. <laughs> <laughs> and we're telling good <laughs> housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> the accidental click. Yeah, right? I'm. I'm saying good housekeeping. That's a birthday gift. Put that on your birthday list. Good housekeeping. Overrated Father's yeah, Day gift. Overrated. Yeah, All right. I don't want that. Fine. Don't don't get me that, Janie. All right. Uh, number five, wireless smart meat thermometer. Dude, for uh, wait, wireless. I own one. Aren't all meat thermometers? They're wireless? all wireless. <laughs> no, oh, like it's like no. blue, like it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh, like it go to your phone. Oh, I mean, I actually have one of those in my Amazon cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I own one. I, I, Welcome I, to Father's Day. I own Day. one. It's pretty cool. I think you kind of like as, when you get to a certain point of grilling, you kind of have to have a meat thermometer. If they got it for you on Father's Day, is it overrated or under? That's overrated to me. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's overrated. I, I'm going to be a bad gift receiver. <laughs> yeah. If I'm getting a meat You got me a metal probe. It's like, I already have a meat <laughs> thermometer. So this is just like a slight improvement, maybe. Yeah, it's like now I can. Over the existing. I mean, I guess now you can sit on the couch and just watch your phone. Yeah. All right. Um, I like to so sit, sit outside anyway. It's number nice. four, we've got a monocular telescope. It's, it's like steampunk. No, it's it's just a. Oh, it, it's like just it. a. It's just a, a telescope? telescope, like a pirate, like. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Robo, Robo's exactly. still fat from here. You got fatter. You like flip? You oh like, wait, sorry. Let me turn this around. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm still, yeah. still, still fat. Yeah. You flip around, look at the big side. Um, no, I don't want a telescope. No. Uh, I I I got one of those for my nephew once, but it was like a steampunk kind of like toy, and he liked it a lot, and it's like cool for, a little while, but like. I don't how, know why it's number four how, best gift. How often a could you possibly telescope. use a... How many dads... <laughs> it's like you're watching your kid play baseball from like center field. <laughs> there you go, Billy. Yeah, <laughs> keep your eye on it. This if, is a if, telescope. It's like to yeah. look at the stars, dude. Not to no, like, I thought he said it was... Not like, to like land. No, oh, no, I not, thought it was yeah, this, no? no, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. You're not what did you say? Te- monocular telescope. Monocular. It's a, I thought it was like this. Yeah. Like... If you're, if or is, if, it, is it a, is listen. it like a tripod that you look up at the stars, or is it like a pull it out, um, like a sh- like yeah, a, you're like, not fucking there's a, there's a tripod on there. Does it look there's like a, a beer stick, or is it look a, like a, there's a, tripod. There's a tripod? It's not fucking Christopher Columbus, dude. Listen, like, oh, honestly, finally land. Honestly, I think that's even maybe even worse. All I gotta, I gotta say, like roll. I gotta like pick up my tripod and put yeah, it outside. And you gotta like, point it at your anus. Like, how am I gonna find it? See your anus for me. <laughs> All I gotta say is, if this is in your top four, you're doing some creepy shit with it. That uh, maybe maybe like if your husband is Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see that. All right, and he's probably got a way cooler one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, number three, we got twelve inch screen magnifier for smartphone. <laughs> maybe screen magnifier. Maybe yeah, for your maybe for your ni- <laughs> lit- when you when you're when you're too old to see your yeah, fucking maybe smartphone. Yeah, maybe for your ninety year old dad. Oh my god! It just magnifies maybe, it. Yeah, okay, maybe that's stupid. Ma- if uh, first of all, you have to have really bad eyes. Second of all, you have to know that like you have to re- like not even understand that there's a setting that you can increase the text size of everything on your phone. So you need to be like both technically incompetent and have terrible eyesight. Yeah, no, thank you. Ninety. You have to be ninety eight years. Yeah, that's yeah. for your that's for your great great grandfather. Yeah, that is good. Housekeeping is really killing it on this list. Um, that's read by the number number eight through ten were fucking awesome. Oh, the only, right, yeah. they started it Wait, started off hot. What's the date on this article? What, what is it? Twenty twenty four. Okay, yeah. So so good housekeeping is a magazine that's read by fucking grandmas. People don't read. So this is like. Hey, Grandma, what to get your husband for Father's Day? Get him Day. a telescope. Get him a telescope so he can see Uranus from farther away. And <laughs> get him a Makes magnifi- it bigger. And <laughs> get him a magnifier so he can see the butts on his phone from farther away, too. 
<laughs> yeah, like if you get that meat thermometer, I can't even I can't read this phone. Use I, use my magnifier. Yeah. I can read my meat no, thermometer. You think, you think you're getting two gifts? You're the crazy. guy that can set up a meat thermometer on his phone doesn't need doesn't a need a magnifier. <laughs> right? So How are those on the same weird list? list. Right. Weird list. All right. So number two, this I Wait, don't hate this. That was number three. That was number three. Oh god. Yes. That made the podium. Yeah. Jeez. LED sports and stock ticker. Yep. Count yeah, me that's yeah. cool. Underrated. So give me that yeah. this, day. this thing Underrated. is like a scoreboard at a stadium, but yep. it's Bluetooth for 100%. live sports scores and live stock ticker. That oh, is. I, I might like actually that. go and find this thing that now. Is the coolest shit that yeah. I've ever seen. That's I don't know where I put it up sick. in here. Like I put, I put it like right behind me, maybe. We can just have scores rolling. Like right no, behind. You get like live. I would know if the Yankees scored. Well, in the you, know we, you know, we get like like yeah. Thursday night football. Like get like Thursday night football on there. Would you put it like above the bar? So like if I'm sitting at the bar but not watching the TV, I can still see the ticker. Honestly. I've, cool. I've wanted one of those. That might be number one. I've wanted one of those. Cool. Like yeah, that life. should be number that one. That should be number after one. After you see what number one is. I don't is. care what number one is. Yeah. Like, that, that should that be number one. Above the TV, get some stock. That thing's some cool. Stock. But don't buy me that, Janie. Stonks? 2024. Yeah, it's Bluetooth live scores in stock. Yeah, it's that's crazy. Cool. That's great. All right. Number one, barbecue net tubes. Is that the thing that you put like the, you cut everything up and you put it yeah. in? It stops it from Fuck going those, into your... Grills. But if I already got grill mats, I don't need that. Barbecue exactly. net <laughs> That's tube? the number one. Number one. What is it? Overall, that's the Caleb Williams of Father's Day gifts. That is rough. A barbecue net tube? Yeah. Stupid. Wow. It's I don't you, even it's, know. It's your cooking. There was, is that the third your, barbecue thing? It's your I'm cooking like, yeah. beer what stick. What do dads want? They just want to cook bullshit. meat. <laughs> that's it. Keto. Thanks, stupid. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, there's not like stupid. a... I mean, like that's like though like, people read that that need legitimate advice. They're like, I need to get my husband something, and you read that list, and that's the number one thing. Guarantee there's an affiliate link in there. That's the first thing, right? So it got to be. These are all like paid they're trying to, to they're trying to push that product right. barbecue but net to that's paid this to is this is why dads yeah. are getting shafted. Yeah, they're not getting cool yep. stuff or fun not, stuff. Not or, one piece of yard equipment. Not a piece of yard equipment. We Just a hat to keep three, me cool. Three grills. Not a not a nothing. Not a leaf blower. You know nothing. If they if they would have had the LED score and stock ticker at number one, no questions asked. All right, whatever comes after that. Fine. If you want legitimate advice on what to buy your husband for Father's Day, go on to this is why I'm broke. And just find the the first thing that they're into. Wait, just that? find Bro- them that. This is why I'm broke. Com. You know that? dude. This is why I'm broke. Dot com has got like wild shit. Is, it's awesome. Is this a real thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. You, you can you can buy like you know like those submarines that like are like dolphins. Like you go underwater. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like eight hundred thousand dollars. Awesome. That, that'll be on there. It'll be like uh, it's, it's just like, it's a compilation of stuff from all across the internet that's just so awesome. No, what are the? Oh, it's like it's like Sky Mall on steroids. Skynet. Sky Mall. Sky Mall. Remember Sky like, you Mall? Never, you never remember Sky Mall yeah. where you like in the you, airplane? You ride on an airplane and it was oh, like a magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could, like, it's like Sky Mall, but on steroids. It's great. Yeah. That's the number yeah, one. Bro. All you got to remember, go there, yeah. scroll for hours. Just like go there and just type in the search bar like something that your husband or your dad is interested Nick in. Naked Grandma! Uh, and <laughs> type Naked Grandma Right. find something wild. Not but, that website, but there are other websites. <laughs> you can type that I've only ever bought one thing off of that website. Yeah. Poop, poop soap. Poop soap. Poop soap. Poop soap. <laughs> <laughs> Smelled like shit. That right there. That right there. <laughs> That is a great <laughs> Father's Day gift. That's a great poop, Father's poops Day gift. I'd <laughs> rather have I'd rather have that than anything on that list. I'd rather have poops up. Uh, yeah. I'm taking the LED stock ticker. <laughs> nah, I think poops up. I don't know. Poops up. Poops up, bro. Poops up, dude. Poops up. So that's funny. funny. It's that's so funny. funny. You know who used it? Peyton Walsh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no. Shout out Shout Peyton, Peyton Walsh. Walsh. Peyton Walsh just had another kid, didn't he? Oh, we got to get him on the podcast. They're, they're, they're about to. His, about to? I went to um, Tucker's birthday oh, party. Oh, speaking of just having speaking of just having a kid. Uh Patrick. Patrick Irvin. Hey, just hey. had his kid. I know that he listens Patrick to the Irvin. podcast. He's so a, yeah. congratulations, what's Pat his, Daddy. What's his son's name? What is it? it was, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. But Happy is. Father's Day! A shout out to Pat Patrick Irvin. Irvin. Yeah. Shout out Patrick Irvin. This dedi- this Irvin. episode is dedicated to Patrick Irvin. Oh Bang. yeah, good guy. I I really wanted good him guy. to give us a, like a video, like a selfie of him in the hospital. <laughs> like, love you guys. I couldn't have got through without you. That would have been so sick. He yeah. he did he did call me the other day. They just got home for the first first full day. With yeah. the kid, no AC. Oh, oh my god! 
That's we, that, we, I fix the, we fix the issue. Yeah. But he was like, dude, I'm freaking out. Like, we have no AC in my house right now. Wow. In the summer in Florida. Oh, but yeah, if you're somebody, balls, if you're somebody that is just now tuning in, now that we already have all of our kids at certain ages, um, feel free to go back to the previous episodes because Patrick Irvin said that he listens to all the episodes on his runs and that we got him through yeah. the birth. This is a chronicling of how to get through the first year of your child's life mm -hmm. four times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So and really kind of like four different ways to do it. And how to beer stick. So yeah. Four, four different four genders. Four. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You got, got a he, you got a him, you got a she, you got a her. It, they. Yeah. Me too. Happy June. All right. Anyways, okay. uh, <laughs> I really just want you to press the. I really want you <laughs> yeah, to you just press just, it. I yeah, you should just press press straight into the outro. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, again, <laughs> check out the merch uh, on our website. It's on all of our social medias. And uh, check out beerstick.com. Use code DADVICE to get 20% off final purchase. And that is it. We will see you guys next week. Happy June. <laughs> Thank you